Welcome to Hacking with Python 7. What is a botnet? Every video will have all slideshows and code available in the description. So firstly, what is a bot? Well a bot is an automated process or service on a device. This is usually a computer but could also be a smartphone or even a network device. A bot can be used to look after a program by restarting it if a crash occurs. Alternatively, a bot could be used to send spam emails or perform denial of service attacks, also known as a DOS attack. A botnet, however, is a collection of devices connected via a network that can be sent commands by a master computer to perform tasks. This could be sending malicious emails to random email addresses or even doing calculations to solve a mathematics problem. Some botnets are voluntary, usually those used for cloud computing or managing of a program or network. Other botnets can consist of devices that have been infected with malware and the user is unknowingly participating in illegal activity. Using a botnet consisting of multiple devices to perform a denial of service attack will make it a distributed denial of service attack, or better known as DDoS attack. People often mistake a distributed DOS attack with that of a normal DOS attack. Just remember, 1D for a single device and 2Ds for two or more devices. Now you might ask, are botnets illegal? Well, not all of them. Using a botnet on your own machines or, ha or machines you have permission to use is not illegal. Voluntary participation in a botnet isn't illegal either, providing it is used for legal purposes only. For example, managing an internet relay chat, or IRC for short. However, botnets using devices acquired without permission, such as malware, is illegal. Using that botnet to then participate in illegal activities, such as a DDoS attack, is highly illegal. If caught, you'll land yourself a lengthy jail sentence similar to that of a drug dealer. Let's talk a little bit about LOIC. LOIC stands for Low Orbit Ion Cannon, and no, that's not an actual ion cannon, as it's seen in a lot of science fiction. LOIC is an open source network stress testing tool that uses DOS attack. There is a standalone version that allows you to use a single DOS attack against the server. However, there is also the HiveMind version. This version allows you to connect your LOIC to an IRC server, from which attacks can be sent from. These attacks will automatically start for everyone connected to that IRC server with LOIC running, resulting in a DDoS attack. Anonymous hacktivists are renowned for using LOIC, having sent out download links on Twitter and Facebook. Okay, so how does it work? Well, the botnet is usually a program that stores the information and connections to a device. They then sit there in idle until a command is issued. The master, which in this case is us, will send a command to all of the bots on the botnet. The bots then execute the command. This could be for all of the bots to send email with a malicious file to an uns unsuspecting victim and then add them to the botnet, making the network bigger. As you can see in the image, the master sends a command to all the bots and the bots then send a malicious email to the target server. We're going to build a basic botnet program that stores connections to SSH servers. The SSH stands for Secure Shell. The SSH protocol is an encrypted remote connection to the server's command line. This kind of botnet could be useful for managing a network that has a few servers. We'll build upon our botnet to allow for brute forcing connections and cracking weak SSH servers, and then adding them to our botnet. I hope you now have a better understanding of what a botnet is. Don't fear if you don't remember all of this, you can easily come back and rewatch this video to consolidate all the information. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments and I'll try and answer it as best as possible. We will next be writing our basic botnet framework. Thanks for watching.